your wish shaking homies. So today, I want to take a look at the Duncan Imperial Spin Top. So this is a classic spin top. It's been around forever, since before I was ever into spin tops. It's Duncan's cheapest spin top. It's a fixed tip. Um, it's basically along the lines of their Imperial Yo-Yo. It's just a cheap budget fixed axle yo-yo, where this is a cheap budget um, fixed tip spin top. So I think this is like around $5, maybe. Maybe a little bit more, I'm not quite sure. I've had this forever, and I haven't opened it. Um, so we're going to do a little unboxing, and uh, we're going to take a closer look, well, just can take a closer look at the packaging. I'll play with it, obviously, and then I'll tell you guys how you can win it, because it's almost Christmas. Okay, guys, here is the package, Duncan. Yo-Yo.com, ages three and up, choking hazard, blah, blah, blah. Got the little Duncan guy. I like how he's got two spin ups. And then on the back here, they kind of tell you how to wind it, how to hold it. Uh, I'll go over that though really quick. And then it's got it in other languages here. If you want to pause the screen and read that, you can be my guest. Okay, and then it comes with this little plastic button and a cotton string. Uh, and it also has this little like quick release. You can string it to here when you're first learning. I prefer to just actually tie it around the top, um, like most tops. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm actually not going to open this one because I'm gonna I'm, uh, I'm gonna give that give that away. So I don't want to open up your your present if you would. So I got one right here that I already opened. This one, oops, the tip fell out. Ugh, ignore that. <laughs> I this one's I've played with it a little bit. It's took a bit of a beating, but it is still uh still. Hold it on, no problem. So it's a fixed tip, not a bearing tip that does not spin. Um, the way you wind it, if you don't choose to use that, is just like they tell you on the back. It's very simple. You just tie a knot on the end. You start with it right here, and then you just go around. You pull it, make sure that's tight right there. And then you just go away from you like that. Very, very, very easy. Then you hold it like this, and you throw it with the with the tip facing down. So you hold it like like that, and we'll get over that in a minute. Though one cool thing about this is, even though it's like a super cheap top, you can actually take it apart and store your string and everything in it. Uh, it's got these little things on the sides you can push in, and you can actually store your string and your button in there when you're not using it. Or you can have an extra string in there, or uh, really whatever. So really cool. Uh, but yeah, kind of a cheap, cheap, light plastic top, but I mean, it's one of the cheapest tops you can buy on the market, but uh, it actually still works pretty good, so um, let's uh, adjust the camera, I'll show you guys some demonstrations, I'll throw it on the floor, I'll try to do some tricks with it, uh, then I'll tell you how you can win this one. Okay, if you're brand new to tops, the easiest way to learn how to throw it is just throw it on the ground. Right now I got a drum head to just make it a little more fun. Uh, I can work my accuracy a little, you can use something like a frisbee. Um, but yeah, if you're first learning, just use your open floor. Um, use hardwood, concrete, kind of mess up your tip. But uh, one cheap one, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. But either way, if you're trying to keep it in nice condition, use like hardwood, ceramic. Don't be doing it on concrete. Okay, so I'm gonna stand a little back. I'm gonna throw it like I showed you before, my, the tip facing up, my palm facing out. And I kind of landed it in there. It landed a little sideways, but it's still spinning quite well, actually. As you can see, it's got a pretty nice spin to it for being a terrible throw. But yeah, so I mean, you, when you're first learning, just practice just throwing it on the ground like that, and then you can move on to harder stuff. So let me wind it up, we'll get a better camera angle, and uh, I'll try to do some tricks with it. But for just spinning, uh, it spins pretty good. Would be better if I had a little better throw, but... You get the part. Alright guys, so just because it's a cheap top doesn't mean it can't handle the more advanced tricks. So all the more advanced stuff you're going to have to actually throw it up in the air. So let me uh, show you that. So it even corrects very easily. The shape is actually quite nice for that. Because it's a fixed tip, you can do tricks like that where you pop it from one hand to the other. Uh, I'm pretty rusty at spin tops. I haven't played with a Duncan Imperial in a really long time. but just going off that, you can see that I mean it can handle that. So let me wind this back up and we'll try something a little harder. Alright guys, here goes a regeneration. Uh, so far this has been really tricky for me. I doubt I'm going to be able to do this. Um, but here goes nothing. Okay. Well, I couldn't keep whipping it. 
But you get the point. Uh, it, this isn't the best top for those type of tricks because it's, a lot of tops are actually hollow on the top, so it keeps them heavy at the bottom. This one's kind of a little top heavy. So it will, once it starts turning on the string at least, it's kind of hard for me to correct it. But just as far as spinning it, throwing it, uh, doing other tricks on my hands, uh, it's been very good. Um, I've had one. I've had a couple of these in the past. This isn't the first one I've had. This is just the first one I've shown on my channel. But these things are a lot of fun. And uh, if you guys want to get one of these, uh, you can go pick them up. I got this at my local Walmart, but I'll put an Amazon link. Um, but if one of you guys wants to win this, all we're going to do is I'm just going to be, you're going to have to be subscribed to my channel, and then you're going to have to subscribe, get one of your friends to subscribe that's not already subscribed. Um, I can go through my subscribers and see like who is the newest ones in the last month or whatever. So just get one of your friends to subscribe and then comment, you can comment whatever you want and then comment also the person that you, you got to subscribe. So I can look on my subscription list, make sure you're both there. So I'm just going to pick a person at random, make sure him and his friend are subscribed and uh, you win. If you get more, you can vote, you can put as many. If you get like, say you have seven friends, they all, they all want to, they all subscribe to my channel. Um, or they're not already and you're showing them my channel now they subscribe yeah and then same thing they can they can get their friends and uh, yeah so we're gonna give one of these away I'm gonna do more giveaways leading up to Christmas uh, I'll probably do another one tomorrow if not the day after but I'm gonna try to give away at least three or four toys uh, leading up to Christmas just to be nice um, only if inside the USA right now because I, I don't want to pay for shipping internationally uh, for something that's free but yeah, you won't have to pay anything if you live inside the USA. If you really want to enter and you're international, if you win, you got to pay the shipping, I guess. Um, but other than that, yeah, everybody in the USA or, yeah, USA, you'll get a free, uh, no problem. So, yeah, that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys are all having a happy lead up to Christmas if you're watching this after Christmas. And I hope you had a Merry Christmas, a New Year, all that jazz. And I guess until next time, I'll see you later. I'm going to keep playing with this thing because I'm very rusty. But it is a lot of fun, and it works really, really good. So until next time, I'll see you later, and peace out.